But I think, I think we can do better. And so, I will introduce to you our next variation on a theme. I call it Murder Tokens for Standard. And this is, we're running a little bit of Mardu. Okay, I've also taken out the temporary lockdowns in this deck, but we have replaced them with Malicious Eclipse, which I think should be a bit more one-sided since uh, it's going to give all the creatures minus two, minus two, and exile anything that dies. But all of our creatures are greater than two toughness. Aside from the tokens we'll be making with Jaya or Elspeth, but I like this because we're running some scavenger's talent. So whenever uh, one of our creatures dies, we make a token, which sets off uh, caretaker's talent. Also, uh, when we sacrifice a permanent, which we will be doing a lot of with uh, the forge here, our, we can make a uh, target player mill. And we got some recurs in there on level three. Of course, we got removal in the form of get laws, lightning helix, a malicious eclipse, and a couple season of the burrows. Breacher of the Schism to be pumping out some lifelink vampires, hopefully. Uh, and, of course, the caretaker's talent. Uh, Jaya making some prowess monks. We can all, always, uh, you know, use her minus two ability if the opportunity comes up. She Aldred, I think was the main reason I wanted to do Mardu version of this deck, and that's because the card draw that we get is going to gain us so much life off of Caretaker's Talent, and not to mention the life that we gain off of Lightning Helix and our tokens from Archangel Elspeth. So, uh, this is, and not to mention, this is like uh, ultimate fire draw. Okay, they're going to spend their turn to kill Shieldred because they don't want... There's so many decks running card draw right now in Caretaker's Talent that it's just going to deal a bunch of damage in the course of very short order if they don't uh, deal with that. Starfall Invocation instead of Sunfall because we want to destroy our creatures and then get, well, you know, Shieldred back or Preacher of the Schism back. Uh, season of the Burrow, same thing. We can use it to get a uh, permanent card, whether that's a Preacher or Flower Forge or Caretaker's Talent or Scavenger's Talent back. Flood the board with tokens, exile some stuff. And uh, one of fun of uh, Virtue of Persistence. Uh, it's a removal on the left side and then recursion on the right side. Simple. Yeah, effective. Hopefully. Let's see how it does. Uh, let's take it into the queue. Murder tokens. First standard. Sergio, 1985, will be our first opponent with murder tokens. Hmm. Well, we have a couple of Season of the Burrows here. This isn't a great starting hand, but at least we have land. We have land and removal. All right, our opponent. Showing off those new cute mouse elves. Oh, I got soldiers. Okay. Well, the Valiant Veteran. Needs to die. He's got to buff all of their other soldiers, and we just can't have that. So, he can even do it from the graveyard. So, our goal is to keep as many soldiers off the board as possible. All right, that's a couple down. Hey, we found a Preacher of the Schism. Not bad.
Well, we gotta kill that. Not being able to play spells on our opponent's turn uh, defeats the point of having instant spells in your deck. Oh, they also have a Season of the Burrow. Nice. Oh, well. We don't have a black mana source yet. This is problematic. So we're going to beat him to the punch. You can have that and that gone. And we get a rabbit. Did we just give them too many cards? Maybe. Hopefully now, though, they just, uh... Yeah, they just make a bunch of rabbits. Oh, no! And they give it up. <laughs> we were just getting started. We were just getting started. That wasn't even a good draw for us, opponent. Come on. We're trying to play test here. All right, we need a cooperating victim. Super, super pollen. Must be German. All right, we have our uh, board wipe. We have our spot removal slash recursion. We have, well, I think this looks good. We even have all our colors. And there's Shelly. She ordered the apocalypse, making an appearance. Uh, I think that was a mistake, but I'm going to go ahead and ride with it. Okay. In my hand right now, if I had to say which one is the strongest card, I would say Shieldred, the Apocalypse, just because uh, it, she's so good. She's so good. She's a 4-5 with Death Touch. That gains you life when you draw cards and de damages your opponent when they draw cards. And everybody loves drawing cards. See, our opponent over here is drawing multiple cards. All right, so Scavenger's Talent away. All right, we will not attack into the Obliterator. But yeah, we get a food token. Aklazat's the deepest betrayal. So we really want one more mana here. That is not it. Uh, we'll have our opponent mill. And we'll hold back. Yeah, I would love to come on uh, Discord and, and uh, discuss the works. Alright, we managed to mill another Aklazots. Taking some damage. And we got a discard. I think we discard the malicious eclipse. It does not do anything right now. Uh, I wish that would have been an untapped land. That's okay. Let's go ahead and minus three this guy. Just so we take a little bit less damage. 
and we'll preemptively eat our food. Let's mill our uh, opponent out. And we will not attack in yet because we really want we really want that obliterator to die when we attack. All right, we have breached the multiverse. What were what will our opponent pick? Did they get a shielded? Uh, they got uh, another obliterator. Uh, oh, they got one of our Elspeths. I see. Well, we will discard our second forge. Take a bunch of damage and Starfall Invocation. Kill our own Elspeth. Make some food. Mill our opponent. We really need another black mana source here. Uh, I feel like we could have done so much damage with Shieldred with our opponent drawing extra cards here. But, uh, I'm just not drawing it. Our opponent getting some incubate tokens at the ready. All right, well, we have another Starfall Invocation. Not ideal. But at least we get to swing at their face. Unless they just, you know, kill our stuff. No, we'll get you eventually, opponent. We'll get you eventually. All right, they have their own virtue. We would really, really, really like to close this game out. Mm -hmm. All right, take seven opponent. opponent with 17 cards left in their library. Can we hold on? Yeah, we don't have any creatures in there for you. There's your obliterator, buddy. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and shock your face. Gain some life. All right. That's uh, the return of Aklazat's The Deepest Betrayal. All right, our turn. Sacrifice. Okay, so I think what we need to do here is level this guy up. And then pass the turn. Actually, no, yeah, we attack into the obliterator. That'll mill them out if they block. 
Yeah. Yeah, we absolutely. So we got one, two, three, four. And you know what? Let's get rid of our planes. Oh yeah, I do like Rats. Uh, in fact, uh, my wife and I are playing uh, a themed brawl, uh, Wife versus Wednesdays, where she will be playing uh, Snakes, and I will be playing Rats. Classic uh, type right there. Alright, did we get them? Did we get them? Five cards left? Yeah, good game. Good game. Super Pollen. Thank you so much for showing that we can, in fact, mill someone out with just <laughs> just playing our deck as we would like to. And uh, we'll go ahead and kill that guy. Just for fun. Well, they're going to bring somebody back, and then they're going to go to draw a card and die. That's it. Boom. We got them. You nailed it. Your moral support is what carried us through there. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm liking the way this is shaping up right now. Well, let's, uh, let's take it in one more time and see how it does. Maybe another. Uh, one more time and then... Uh, a quick break for the restroom and then we'll see if we want to change it up or keep going with murder tokens our next opponent Baudelaire Baudelaire Definitely French. No idea what that means. Probably an item of clothing. Uh, hey, this looks good. We got a forge. We got a talent. We got mana of various colors. We got removal. Uh, after this dream is done, yes, Ophelia, we will uh, we will talk about banners and uh, logos and stuff. Alright, inspiring vantage down. Our opponent also in Boros colors. Will we scare them with the sulfurous springs? Because right, we are going uh, for another hour, it looks like, on stream here. Of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, it will vary depending on which video you're watching. <laughs> All right, we have something to kill. And we gain some life. And now we have a threat. Our opponent's Gold Warden's Helm here. I'm not sure about this one. What are we playing against? Oh, okay. They're, uh, I don't know. What is going on here? Why? <laughs> okay, well, I think the answer is caretaker. Make a token. No attacks. Copy the token. And we have our second black mana source. All we need now is Shieldred, and we will be gaining so much life every turn. I really like these Fermiridin cards. Is 
Viva la Revolution. Our opponent thinking it over. Trying to decide to blow up my caretaker's talent or not. We would appreciate it if they did not. I think we just take two here. Our opponent's scared. Okay, okay. Now we get serious. Hopefully with all this card draw, we can find our Sealdred. What is the holdup? No, I don't get lost. What do you get lost in? Our other caretaker's talent? I'm not sure about that. Hey, we found a scavenger's talent. Also acceptable. All right, let's get in with the disappearing token. And this guy, I guess. We'll leave back one blocker. Are they going to kill our other caretaker's talent? Please don't. Oh, and I hear he's resolve. Give him everybody plus one, plus oh, and haste. And then uh, they can blink stuff. Interesting. Well, we're definitely not going to let them blink the geological appraiser. That would just recur a whole bunch of discover three cards over and over and over again. We will play this guy out, I'll level him up, and play out another forge. Draw a card. There is Shieldred. Now we're cooking with gas. I don't want to get my hopes up. But I think we got this one. Oh, our opponent playing with some talents as well. Interesting. All right, we're taking some damage. 7, 10, 13... Okay. Yeah, they really love these for Mirrodin cards. So that's uh that's game, right? I think we're dead. Yep, yep, yep. Good game, good game, Baudelaire. It was close. I, I knew I shouldn't get my hopes up. <laughs> yes, we had fun, even though we lost. We're gonna pick it back up with uh our murder tokens. A little Mardu action featuring Caretaker's Talent and uh, Scavenger's Talent. Little Herbrass Fords for spiciness. Hey, we got a couple of those. And then some decent board wipes. Let's keep it. See what happens. Concealed courtyard. Let's go. Sulfur Springs. Our opponent, Celesnia. Oh, no, no, no. Naya. Okay. Well, our malicious eclipse is no good here. So let's go ahead and get our value engine going. Let's see if they... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they throw out some little creatures. They got their own forage. F fun times. Oh, 
Well, we also have one. Get in for one, make a copy. And we will use that to block their forage if it lives. And I think next turn we slam down a second forage and then go for Elspeth. <laughs> Could be good. They also have a second fort. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we're taking two. Okay, we throw down our second fort. I think the difference here is going to come down to we have the caretaker's talent. They do not. So we're going to draw. Okay, I think next turn would be a good time. Definitely a good time for a starfall. But it's not going to save us because we need to malicious eclipse. And then let's see if they can do. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that gets us up to seven. I think that doesn't matter though. They deal exactly seven, don't they? Uh, so close, so close, but good game opponent, good game. There it is. We were just one. I see that's uh, that would have gone the other way around if we would have been on the play. Well, that's just the coin flip for you. All right, that was a quick one. One more with murder tokens, and then we'll switch over to perhaps the spiciest build that I have come up with revolving around this theme. That's a lot of lightning helixes. No, right, we'll keep this. We will get rid of the malicious eclipse. That might have been the wrong move there, but I'm hoping that we draw at least one black mana source. All right, we got lightning helix online. Our opponent also in Boros. Carrot cake, nice. Would really like our black mana source here. Okay, there's the caretaker's talent. That is not a black mana source. Namu. Okay, there's the forge. It is not looking good here.
we probably won't get a better target for this. So let's just go ahead and kill their token. All right, still no black mana to speak of. This is becoming an issue. And they have a second forge. Where are all our forges? Okay, lightning helix. Not great. I mean, if we play Jaya or Elspeth there, they just get run over by the forge. I think if I was our opponent there, I would have leveled up. All right, let's go ahead and kill the bigger one. Our problem is, yeah, there's so many enchantments and artifacts we gotta remove. And we only have a season of the burrow at the moment. Dear God. Okay. Exile, exile, token. Let's go exile, exile. I thought about putting War Leader's Call in a couple different versions of this deck that our opponent's playing, but I think the problem is they're just not generating enough tokens at one time. So yeah, you're dealing like one or two damage here. The Anthem effect is nice, though. I will say that. That is one of the big reasons I thought about including it. All right, Elspeth. We need you now. Do we get steamrolled? All right. There's a torch to the tower. They gotta go after Elspeth here, right? And now they just kill us? Yeah, we're dead. Okay, good game. Oh, they go after Elspeth? Okay, well, we preemptive. <laughs> they had lethal. <laughs> oh, my. Well, 